How's it going guys? I'm Gabe Ofka. I'm Tim Long. And we're going to do an unboxing of the Drobo 5N2. This is a network attached storage or a NAS. And right now in our office we actually use a Drobo but instead it's a uh, RAID array which is a little bit different than a NAS. The NAS allows us to all simultaneously use the same hard drive basically and work on these projects together. So instead of what we do currently where Tim, you know, he needs something from the hard drive so he has to stop what I'm doing. It's super inconvenient, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a big time waster so hopefully this will solve that issue that we have with that. Right, there it is, Ta -da! upside down. It's now it's now officially uh, so this is voided it. the warranty because it's upside down. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it has the differences here. So they actually just released a, um, I don't know how recently, but there's a USB-C version. Um, and then there's also a USB-C or Thunderbolt 3, whatever you want to call it. And then the one we're using just ran on Thunderbolt 2, I believe. All right, <sighs> and first thing we get is, welcome to the world of, welcome to the world of, of what? Right. Oh, the world of Drobo, there's the answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got a sticker, some sweet s swag and warranty stuff. Uh, data, re data recovery service plan, warranty against defects. So they have battery backup which is on them, which is great. You don't have to buy separate UPS to do any of this. So yeah, there's a power. And then, is this two? There's two. It says, oh. the box literally says on it that it only comes with one, right here. So kind of funny story about this is, I think Gabe had mentioned this earlier, we actually have the non-network version of this already, and we were super excited with how it um, has worked. I'm trying to carefully slide this out. Pretty challenging, we got it shoved in there. But anyway, so we work with uh, an agency in uh, Morgantown, uh, West Virginia Interaction. Uh, we do some work with them, and they, they were looking for some backup storage around the same time that we were, and we had recommended the version that we had, and they looked into the original um, NAS that Drobo released, and they were using that, and their biggest headache that I've heard from them is just when you're transferring, they're using it wirelessly, when you're transferring over the network, sorry Dylan if I'm incorrectly quoting you, but their internet pretty much is like unusable when they're transferring footage, so. But the fact that we can plug straight in to our computers, uh, directly into Mac Pro means we can skip the internet and not have to kill, because we got what, 10 people? Uh, there's already. usually average like six yeah. people in the building that are using our internet at once. So uh, here's the front here, I'm gonna have to take this guy off. It and looks identical. I don't see any differences right now in yeah. the, the Drobo 5 that we already have. It should come right off. Yeah. It's just little magnets holding that in. You can see here there's five lights and that uh, each one of those kind of says the status of the drive itself. Basically there's five bays here. You got a bay for each hard drive and you literally just plug them right in and they work just like that. I'm not quite sure. What's the largest capacity of hard drives? 12. 12 terabyte. So, Which is what we ended up getting, I believe. Okay, so that is the largest. So, yeah. Uh, if you add that up, five drives times 12, that's 60. So um, you are able to get quite a lot of data out of that. You don't get that full 60 terabytes. You know, normally you get a hard drive and it's not actually, no, a one terabyte hard drive isn't actually one terabyte, it's 900 or whatever. But this is gonna cut out more because of that backup that the Beyond RAID does. Yeah, so so like he's mentioning there, uh, the Beyond RAID, it allows you to kind of back up your data without backing up your data. So this thing will take care of, you know, say one drive fails here, the other drives will have all the media that your, your partition on your computer uh, is using. So you're not gonna lose any data by just one drive failing. It's almost magical how yeah. that works. I, I, I'm not well versed in that. I'll show you the back here now. Basically just a whole bunch of real estate here for the fan. Um, and I don't think it's that loud. Our, our previous Jobo. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. So right here we have the power switch and then um, we got 12 volt in power and then we also have the actual network uh, adapters here. So you can plug in up to two ethernets. We've also heard a lot of people have a lot of bad luck with Drobos. I've seen, uh, <laughs> there's someone else on, on YouTube that uploaded a video, I don't know what this was. I, don't, I, I can't remember who it was, but he literally, I think he said he bought like three separate Drobos and just literally had a video of him smashing the Drobos because they were so bad. But we've had fantastic luck. We haven't had any issues where we've had to where a, a, a drive die or anything like that. But um, knock on wood, if that were to happen, we just replace 
that drive and uh, continue on with things as, as normal. Anyways, this has been Gabe Ofka and Tim Long. Have a good day. See ya.